morning, everybody. Get your paint on. It's Brew Grouch with the Get Your Paint On. He's got something in his mouthwash. He's drinking some, not mouthwash. Brew Grouch mouthwash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here today. You're not even supposed to be here not today. Even supposed to be here today. Hello, everybody. It's Thursday morning. It's 10 a.m. and that means it's Get Your Paint On. I'm your host, Dallas Kim. And we're live from the PP Private Press Paint Studio, and we're painting Brew Grosh. And joining me today over on the mix board, mix, I got to come up with a better name for that, is Mr. John Swinkles. Hello, John. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I'm going to start painting this fella. Where are we going at? Just get it. So in case anybody doesn't know, this is the Ram exclusive model that will be available at Gen Con 2018 in um, Indianapolis, Indiana. Beautiful downtown Indianapolis. And it's um, it's an alt sculpt of Thugrosh, a monster for Monster Apocalypse. And he is Brugrosh. So as you can see, he's actually sitting on top of the Ram. And he is partaking of their delightful um, brew, 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 grosh. So I'm going to mix up some um, Cricksbane highlight and bog moss. Mm. How's that? Mm. It's so tasty looking. It's not. It's actually kind of gross looking. Cricksbane highlight and bog moss. So Jordan was painting, uh, Jordan uh, Lamb was painting one of the studio copies of Brew Grosh at Lock and Load. <laughs> I don't want to swap the bog mouse. We need a bog mouse swatch. Swatch mouse. Bog mouse. Are them alphabetical, alphabetical orders? Yep. Oh, they are, and then it's got a bog mouse. Well, I know the swatch exists, it's just not there, huh? I've been failed. We're gonna. I know who to blame too. I'm not gonna go blame it. I got. I got Bogger and Brown, but that's not the same thing. That was not the same. So we got Bog Moss and Crickbane Highlight. And it's gonna start. So anyways, uh, Jordan was painting the studio version at Lock and Load, which was an awesome time. Have we had a show since Lock and Load? We had. Uh, it. nope. Nope. Is this our first show back from Lock and Load? Yup. Hermer Gersh. Hermer through Grosh. We got so much to talk about. Um, but if you saw that one, it's much more. His was very um, punchy, very saturated, very green and purple. I'm gonna go with something a little different. I'm gonna go with something a little more gritty, grimy, grungy, green. Gritty, grindy, grum, grungy green. That's a new color. I'm going to make it. Gritty, grimy, grungy green. Yep. Hey, can you pass me the gritty, grimy, grungy green? So lock and load. That was a pretty good time. Was a fantastic time. Any of you who joined us at lock and load, I'm sure you had a fantastic time. Any of you who did not join us at lock and load, you... Probably still had a fantastic time, but your fantastic time would have been amplified a million fold by being at Lock and Load. But hopefully you saw I had a fantastic time by watching Lock and Load streaming all weekend. And if you missed it, it is available at youtube.com slash privateerpressprime. Privateerpress.com Privateer Press YouTubes Grizzly, well, grimy, grum, grungy, green. It's harder to say than you think. All those alliterations in a row. Gritty, grimy, grungy, green. Gritty, grimy, grummy. Grummy? What the hell's a grummy? I don't know. It's all grummy in my tummy. Grummies are like evil gummy bears. They're the grummy bears. <laughs> They're like the uh, nega, nega grummy bear, gummy bears. <laughs> They're like. <laughs> Well, who's that? Well, those are grummy bears. Grummy bears, oh no. Oh, I go no, bud. That'd be fantastic. So I'm just washing this. Hopefully I'm, hopefully I'm, uh, 
Oh, sorry if I'm a little uh, not over hype right now. I'm tired. It was a long night. I was watching fireworks. I was watching the fireworks. So I assume everybody was watching the fireworks. At least somewhat. At least some people were watching the fireworks. I like watching things in the sky go boom. I'm trying to turn Dallas up, but not myself, because otherwise it, I'll be way too loud. Oh, can they not hear me? Because I'm kind of talking lower. You should, you should be better now. If you go mega hype, you'll blow everyone's eardrums, though. I should be better now. You know what? I say that every morning. I should be better. And I just leave it at that. I should be better. Hashtag life goals. So as you can see, I'm using that. I'm actually going to use the speckling from the Zenithal Priming as like mm -hmm. texture on this guy's big belly. Because um, that's gross. And um, I want to accentuate the grossness. Ryan Floyd says, is this a new release from Lock and Load? No. Your first chance to get this will be at Gen Con 2018. Gen Con 2018, come to Privateer Press's booth, buy a brew garage and take it home and be the envy of your family, because they'll be like, damn, what is that? And you'll be like, brew garage for Monster Apocalypse. And they'll be like, oh, snap, that's so dope. And you'll be like, I know, because I'm the dopest. Because I went to Gen Con and went to the Privateer Press booth and bought a brew garage. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is the best Dallas. Sleepy Dallas? Yeah. <laughs> we need more Sleepy Dallas. No, Sleepy Dallas is sleepy. <laughs> really sleepy. So I'm just wash, wash, wash. Wash, wash, wash. Wash, wash, wash. Wash that brew grosh. Log and load. What do you want to talk about from lock and load? I can't believe that. Are you sure this is our first... Yeah. Show back from Lock and Load? Because yep. I feel like I was... I feel like I... Are you sure? I'm 100% wow. sure. Because we weren't live last week because we were still getting the gear all returned. And oh, stuff. the gear was still in crates, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. Wow. I've lost track of times. Mm -hmm. However, speaking of Monster Apocalypse, next Tuesday, Weekly Rumble, Schick versus Oz... Monster Apocalypse. Monster Apocalypse Showdown. I'm so excited. Um, I, I, are we doing? We can, we can tell them we, we're doing two weeks in a row of Mon Park, aren't we? Well, well, yeah. yeah. At least. At least. So you're going to see your first, the first time you're going to be able to see Monster Apocalypse being played, will be next Tuesday, 10 a.m. during the weekly Rumble. Oz Schoonover versus Will Schick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fearless leader versus Shictator. The Shictator. Taking down fools left and right. Shictator. Wash, wash, wash all day long. Wash, wash, wash. I sing my song. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus points. If I you like know where that's Dallas. from. I like Sleepy Dallas. <laughs> Sleepy Dallas is fun. I'm so sleepy. I'm what color? I, I need to change the color of the wings, but I want to put like a layer of green in there to really mm -hmm. add to the sickliness. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they'll be green at the end. I'm not sure what they'll be. Well, do you want them on the lighter side, darker side? How much contrast do you want with his body? Probably light. -ter. So maybe some sickly skin with some carnal pink? Yeah, we might go with like that pink grossness. Like some Legion style wings. Yeah. Ugh. Gross. I didn't even paint his arm. So Justin uh, says, Does the thing he's drinking come with the model or did you mod it? This is Brugrosh. He will come just like this. Some assembly required. Uh, if you pick him up at Gen Con. Yeah, this is the model. This is the alternate sculpt for Thugrosh. So uh, regular Thugrosh, as you, uh, regular Thugrosh is like looking all like. Meh. He's like trying to get you, get you. Um, Brew Grosh, though, is one part, two part, three part, four parts. This is four parts. Um, he's got the, uh, he's got his little tentacles. 
that plug into this and the arm is one piece and then each wing is a separate piece but then the rest of this is all one big piece the building included now what i did do is i added some extra rubble and an i-beam because uh, i'm basing my mom park um, you don't have to do that but um that, that's what i'm doing um because i i think it looks pretty cool gritty grimy grungy green gritty gritty grungy green and i'm not nailing that today <laughs> Gritty, grimy, grungy green. There we go. I just had to slow it down a little bit. Matt Getz is in the uh, in the chat room. He says, "Hey, boy." Matt, 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 Getz, Getz, Getz. Matt, 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 Matt. Sleepy Dallas Mega Mix. Yellow for that sickliness, I see that, Raven. Yeah, I'm probably going to lean into the yellows up around the wings. And uh, definitely he's got these little, um, like, warts. I don't know if they're warts or pustules. Um, I believe on the studio one and on the concept art, they're, they're just warts. I'll probably make mine more pustule-y, like, just kind of gross. Pustulio. Pustulios. Pustulio. Pustulio. I'm just going to keep this color going, and then I'll add some colors to it and start creating um, shadows and building in my contrast and work on my volume, which uh, I took a class a couple of years ago, a miniature, a bus painting class, and it was all a lot of conversation about volume. Creating volume because that's what it's all about. You're creating. What are you still doing Crick's Bane highlight and uh, uh, fog moss? Uh, greedy, grimy, grungy green. Yeah. Which is now Crick's Bane highlight mixed with fog moss makes gritty, grimy, grungy green. Um, we're just gonna bottle that up, sell it. We're not, but we might. You never know. You never know what's going to happen here at Privateer Press because we always doing something new every day, trying stuff out, saying, hey, 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 what, what, what? Look at this. I made it up. Um, Battle dress green. I, I love how it looks like he's kind of like rubbing his belly. Like, he's, mm, this beer like, is good. Mm, mm, look at this. He's Yoda now? I mean, it could be. He's green. Yeah, but he's grimy, gritty, grimy, grungy green. Gritty, grimy, grungy green. Oh, Ale Stain, thank you. Great green globs of greasy, grimy gopher guts. Itty bitty birdie feet, mutilated monkey meat. Um, do I want to put a little purple in that? Maybe? Yes. I'm thinking so too. I'm going to grab a little um, murderous magentas, maybe. And some beaten purple and I'm gonna mix it into my green and I'm gonna blend that down into the depth of his belly into the depths of the belly mm -hmm. belly rubs he really does look like he's rubbing his belly like mm, it's so delicious oh he's, he totally is though right he's just like look at my belly I'm eating the brew Drinking it down, cause that's what I do. Brew grosh. The Hoffman says, What is a brew grosh? What is a brew grosh? The brew grosh. What, what motivates the brew grosh? Is Monster Apocalypse alternate figure of Thu Grosh, who found the Ram Brewery and is drinking all its beer. He's like, What, what? I'm drinking this up. Um, and you can get him. At Gen Con. Gen Con 2018. And the cool thing is, he'll be releasing with uh, cards. Yup. So, that's dope. Oh, oh, I had to move that because I put that second brush in my mouth. Can you still hear me? Yep. Okay. Sorry, I had to move the mic. Alright, so I'm going to avoid the wet areas. I'll mix some very desaturated. Uh, I took my gritty grimy grungy green mixed in some murderous magenta and beaten purples and i'm going to start working this into like some of the deep shadows like just key areas where i want a little purpliness because what that does is add warmth and warmth is very important when you're uh, painting living creatures because mm -hmm. 
because that's how you recognize them as living is a little bit of warmth in their skin. Steve Hall. Hello, Steve. Hello, says, Steve. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can we see a Ram Brewery building model for Monpoc? Maybe an OP kit? Maybe. That depends that, on the Ram, really. That would be cool. That would be kind of dope. Well, pretty like, dope. I like that idea. I, like I will that, pass yeah. that up the chain, Steve Hall. Well done. Speaking of Steve Hall and well done, Steve Hall was the winner of the um, P3 Grandmaster boop, boop. at Lock and Load 2018. I still um, don't have a soundboard, but I'd be like playing like the clapping sounds and the some kazoos. Some I'm sorry, what was that? Some oh, okay. um, Steve had a really, there was a lot of really awesome entries. Um, a lot of really cool things that were definitely um, award worthy and who won awards. Uh, but Steve took away the Grandmaster by painting up an awesome child um, from the Grimkin. From the Grimkin Wicked Harvest. And I know Jordan and or some other people took uh, some pictures of those, and hopefully we'll have those up to here soon. Yeah, uh, Jordan got pictures of everything, and we'll be posting pictures soon. It takes a little while to process all that stuff. And everybody has to get back. But you can also watch the judging of the Grandmaster competition from Lock and Load on our Facebook page. Uh, Dallas did kind of a gorilla style video while we were streaming downstairs, so you can go check that out now. Yeah, you can see the award ceremony. Um, the, the the models aren't really shown in that, but um, but you can see the award ceremony, and but you can also I did another video where you can actually I kind of browse the cases so you can mm -hmm. actually see um, some of what what went down. Facebook.com slash official privateer press. And also, just a reiteration, not only will you be able to go to Gen Con and buy this brew garage model from us at the booth and say hi, which is the important part, it's come say hi, um, you can also get him online during the show at store.privateerpress.com. Yeah, I love that. That's what we do with our, like, even though our show exclusives, like, we were like, you know what, he's not, going online yeah, too. Not everyone can make it. Gen Con is not the cheapest show to go to. It's not bad, and it's totally worth it, but we know not everyone can make it. Yeah, so making our exclusives available online is such a such a great tool that we do. And yes, Thomas Latshaw, this is a Monster Apocalypse miniature. It is Brugrosh, the alternate sculpt for Ugrosh. He's a fancy alternate sculpt. Uh, Philip Deshawn says, will Brugrosh make an appearance on the beer glass as well? Very likely. I believe that is the intent, but I may be mistaken. I'll know soon. I mean, historical evidence always indicates. Yeah. I would suspect as much. However, I've been wrong in the past. Not often. It's okay to be wrong. Sure is. People need to accept being wrong more often. Hungerford. Jesus. Like, just... It's just okay to be wrong. It's just okay. Uh, the cult, TK Cultist says, does Brugrash come with a stat card? Yes. Yes, he does. He does. He comes with a stat card for Thugrash. Yep. Because he just is a replacement mod for Thugrash. He doesn't have special rules. He doesn't have beer swill or any he fancy... Should. He should now. Now that I say it, mm -hmm. Oz. He's not here. Don't yell. I can still yell at Oz. I know, but it blows out our ears. Oz. Because, like most of How's our that? most of our audience, I I am also on headphones and ouchies. Oz, where are you, Oz? Pick a new stack card for just Brew Garage. We can't do that. He's an alternate model. Exoskeletal says, will there also be another Journeyman 15th Anniversary Mini available from Gen Con? Maybe. I ain't telling. Y'all ain't got enough to make me talk. Right. And then Jason McAllister Jr., any neat list idea for Company of Iron since the new Commander upgrades came out in War Room? I have a couple. Um, I am still in the process. I'm about a third of the way done now, however, on painting my Lanissa boss, uh, Company of Iron group, 
which is Linus Rizzle, full unit of the Rizzavoss Defenders and Aleth Beer. And right now, um, there is, uh, I still like Bounty Hunter, but let me pull up the other one. So, Dallas, I know that you painted up uh, mm -hmm. Defender X mm -hmm. and your guard units. Mm -hmm. What are you working on next for yourself? Um, I started something at Lock and Load um, in the Hobby Lounge. Mm -hmm. I started up a started up some Planet Eaters. You do? Yeah. He looks super dope. Um, so he's going to be so this is um, Gorgadra for the Planet Eaters um, of the uh, Destroyers um, agenda. I uh, love this model. And this will all be like silver with mm -hmm. some yellow highlights, but it's still going to stay silver. And it's a contrast with his uh, blue belly because I like the – I actually let the community pick what color my um, Gorgadra was, and they chose blue. So this is what – this is what came out of that. When is there like, boiler black on that guy? Uh, no, this is actually just cold steel. Okay. Um, but I will be using um, not boiler black because I want to keep it very light. I want to keep it very um, poppy and stuff like that. Um, but what I want is um, to use galvanized steel and for uh, that armor, not boiler black. So I'm going to go in the opposite way. Going the opposite way. I can't remember what the method of getting it was, but there's also the commander upgrade Grim Harvester where you get to eat people's hearts. I like that one too. That wasn't Adepticon. Yes. Was it? I, I think so. It might have been Adepticon. Yeah. Llama Juice says just an entire list of patrol dogs. Legit. Illegal, but I'll allow it. Company of fine, you do what you want. All right, this has got a nice little gross shade of purple going on here. I'm just going to keep working that into the skin before I start darkening it up. Because this isn't really darkening. It's just adding a <clears throat> tone to it. Um, like I said, when you're painting living creatures, things that are alive, um, adding warmth to their skin is a good way to indicate that life, to, to show that liveliness, that um, blood running through them. And, you know, so it doesn't matter what kind of creature, like even if you look at Legion, we, uh, we utilize in the shadows, the scorn red exile blue mix. And what that does is it indicates that warmth. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. The eye will pick it up, and you'll see it. So that's what I'm doing here, in case anybody was curious about the kind of the methodology or the thought process here. Just that little touch of purples. Right where I want them. Boop, boop, boop. What do we got here? Uh, Yoshi 6400, that child model was amazing to see in person. I totally agree. Um, Steve did an awesome job. Which way does this go? And coming around, world champion Dallas Kemp says he would allow it. You know it's legit. That's right, TK Cultus. I am currently the world champion of Company of Iron, even though that doesn't actually exist. But I got a shirt that says it does. I do. It's true. You can't. You can't argue with the T-shirt. If it's on a t-shirt, it's literally law. I've never seen this t-shirt. Um, it was given to me by Mr. James Craig at um, Adepticon when he challenged me to the Company of Iron World Championship. And I won. Mm -hmm. It was the most dope shirt ever. He even put the words Appalachian Murder Shack, which is mine and JR's made-up band, on the shirt. Purple on his booty. 
Booty booty. I guess I could. No, I don't know if I want to do that yet. I'm not going to do it yet. I was going to start building in some um, little, little skin imperfection dots with this purple, but I'll pick a different color. We'll do something different for that. Now I'm still trying to decide what color his tentacles are going to be because he has these big awful tentacles. Um, I don't want to lean into the purple. I want to do something different, but I'm not sure what. So if anybody has any ideas, hit me up. I'm right here and you're listening anyways. Onion J says, Grim Harvester on Patrol Dog Commander make rabid trencher theme. That could be kind of fun. Onino J. Onino. Onino. I always call him Onion J. So do, so do I. But now I'm like stuck on this Onino. Onino J. J Nino. Uh, Raven says, uh, trying to track down the convention cards for Company of Iron. Uh, I think it's either six months after they first come out to maybe up to a year, just depending on production timelines. Uh, they just become available for general release through War Room and uh, the website, I believe. Yeah, most of them are in War Room right now. Mm -hmm. Like, I think, what was the last one? We, we, did we just have one for, did we have one in Lock and Load? I don't remember. Uh, Iron Head Scrapper, Grim Harvester... Bounty Hunter was exclusive for a little bit. There's been a few. Master of Coin was one of them. I don't know if we had one at Lock and Load. I don't remember. I'm the worst. Literally, you would know. You should know. I should, and you I'm should. the worst. I've slept since then. So that that purple I'm noticing, uh, or that mix anyway, is rather subtle. I really like it. Yeah, it's super subtle because I don't want it to be overpowering whenever I go to put my browns in because I'm going to start deep shading over top of this with browns because um, I want to lean into that real uh, richer, more natural skin tones. Juicer. Thank you, Raven. Yes. Juicer was the one at Lock and Load. Oh, I don't have that one. I don't either. Because I was very busy at Lock and Load. JR! 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 He's, he's, he's here today. Oh, I'm totally going to go find him. Be like, dude, I'm the world champion company of iron. I need a card. That's not how that's going to work at all. Nope. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. So hopefully this comes together at the end. I'm just kind of making out. Man, and I'm sure somebody out there is screaming about the most terrible brush in the world I'm using because look at that. That's all right. I'm just, I'm just glopping a wash. Glippity gloppity. Doesn't matter. The brush is fine. I can paint an eye with that brush if I had to. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, uh oh. Oh, yeah, I want to lean into like the real. Yeah, I really want to lean into like the realistic feel of this guy. You know what? John. Mm -hmm. We're painting Mom Pock on, on uh, Get Your Paint On. I think we have something to say about this, don't we? We sure do. All right, kids, everybody gather around because we're about ready to drop something really cool on you. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> not what I meant. <laughs> so, uh, super dope. A little bit later today, basically once I have the, the page done, is uh, we are going to have some uh, some images that Mr. Matt Wilson put together of uh, basically, think of them kind of like digital coloring pages uh, featuring uh, six of the uh, Monpoc monsters. Can I say who they are? Uh, yeah. And those are going to be up on the website. And what you're going to do is you're going to go download them images. You can either print them out 
or you can do some digital coloring, but we want you to come up with a paint scheme for your monster of choice, whether that be, listen them off, Dallas. Defender X. Defender X. Zor Raiden. Zor Raiden. Terracon. Terracon. Thugrosh. Thugrosh. Ares Mothership. Woo woo. Ares Mothership. That's dope. And Gorgadra. Gorgadra. So basically, download those images, print them out, or digitally color them with a paint scheme that you think would look super dope. Then share that on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, or uh, really anything, so long as you tag Privateer Press in it. Mail it in. Mail in your, your, your hand-drawn one or take a good picture of it. Whatever if you do you mail do, it in, send it to me, and then sign it so I can hang it up at my desk. Whatever you do, you just make sure that you send it in, and then we're going to pick one. We're going to pick one, yes. That we think is a dope color scheme. So basically, Dallas is going to pick one. Well, I'll put together a crack team of, you know, snappy artists. And basically, whichever one we think is the dopest, what are we going to do? Oh, uh, what are we going to do? What's the big prize they're going to get here? This is the best thing ever, I think. I, I think it's pretty dope. So go ahead and tell them, what are they going to win, Dallas? You're going to win if we choose your color scheme. I will paint that monster in your color scheme live on Get Your Paint On and mail it to you. What? Say what? Say what? Say what? What? Yep. So you're going to paint it on, get your paint on. Mm -hmm. As soon as we have the model, some of them will be coming out as a little bit later. So, so go guide your wins, yeah. and whoever picks blue wins. Right. <laughs> 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 but anyway, so pick a monster, pick a paint scheme, either color it with your colored pencils, your crayons, your digital coloring in the Photoshops, whatever you got. Uh, if you paint, if you take your coloring page, just a little heads up. Um, I know for a fact because I do it all the time. You can totally use P3 paints sure can. and paint on it. Yep. That's all true. Basically, come up with a color scheme. Put it on that page in whatever manner you have available to you. And then in the best possible way that you can, share that image. Make sure to tag Privateer Press mm -hmm. and give it the hashtag mm -hmm. P3 Paints Monpoc. P3 Paints Monpoc. Hashtag. And if you do that, and we pick yours. Once again, Dallas will paint that monster in the color scheme you came up with live on Get Your Paint On. And then we're going to mail that son of a bitch to you. Right to your door. And he'll and, and that model will be yours to keep forever and be like, Dallas painted this in the color scheme I came up with because that's dope. Or if it's like a week away from a show that we'll be at, we'll just bring it to the show and we'll give it if, to you. If you're going to be there. Yeah, yeah. If we're gonna, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, whatever we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Because that's always fun, too, to be able to, like, give somebody a prize, like, in person. Yoshi6400 says, what's the deadline? I will have that information available at privateerpress.com a little later today. You'll have you'll have a robust amount of time. Robust. A robust amount of time. Because, like I said, not all the monsters that are featured in this are available just yet. However, mm -hmm. they will be. Yeah. And then as yeah, soon as we yeah, have them, yeah. if you're the winner, we're going to paint it the way you uh, came up with, and we're going to send it to you because that's dope. Details. More details coming soon. The only thing that matters is... Unless something horribly goes awry, I will have all of that up at privateerpress.com later today. And I'll tweet it out, and I'll share it, and it'll be on the Facebook page and all that other kind of good junk. That's going to be a fun competition, and I'm so excited to be judging this. I think it's super dope. Speaking of judging. Want to know why? Because hmm. I'm, I'm excited to see what people come up with. Me too. Because I want to steal their color schemes. Woo -woo. Well, technically, you are literally going to to paint that color scheme. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah you're right. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not stealing if someone says, here, paint this for me. Trove. Trove. Llama Juice says, uh, would you say a plethora of time? Mm, no, just a robust amount. Cornucopia of time. Timocopia. But in a much sooner timeline, bring your models to Gen Con. If you bring your models to Gen Con that you've painted, Dallas, Ron Cruzy, and many others will look at them, judge them, and provide useful critique and feedback as part of the Grandmaster Painting Competition at Gen Con. P3 Grandmaster Painting Competition. Plus fabulous cash and prizes. Await those who do dope things. And sick high fives. 
the crispest of sick high fives. That's true. My high fives are crisp. So needless to say, also remember to come if you're coming to Gen Con to enter the B3 Grandmaster Painting Competition. It costs you nothing but the time you spent painting, and you get a lot out of it. Even if you're not a quote unquote winner, you're you still will get a winner. All the feedback and all that good information that our uh, painting maestros have to offer. Can we? Can can I riff on this for just a minute? Riff on this for just a minute. Um, I'm not. So I hope this is okay. I want to talk about this a little bit. Um, talk about it. So at the P3 Grandmaster at uh, Lock and Load this year, mm -hmm. somebody was pretty upset that they uh, didn't you know, place as high as they thought. And I got to have a really good conversation with a lot of people about this. And it's not about winning sometimes. It's, not, it's, it's about challenging yourself getting yourself out of the comfort zone and getting that critique and pushing yourself. Like, um, I've been doing this for several years now. And so I'm starting to get those people that, um, you know, I've been traveling with me in, in this journey of painting and stuff like that. And just being like, you know, dude, that first time you, you, um, you judge me, it was like hard to hear, but then I started painting and pushing myself and like look at what I'm painting now and I'm like oh my gosh yeah that's that's way you're like you just it's I don't know I'm trying to be real trying to just be motivational here but I'm sleepy um, the reality is is it does not matter where you place in this competition yeah it doesn't matter at all because realistically if you painted a model or unit or what have you that you're bringing to the show by entering and getting that feedback Without being cheesy, you won. You won. You, you've you taken a step out of your comfort zone. You have pushed yourself. You have learned something. And you're going to get feedback from people who, you know, have been doing this for a long time and are there to help. Not We're not there to hurt. We're there to help. Um, and trust me, it you get better. And... The more people tell you how to improve, the more, uh, the better you're just going to get. You just have more tools. Yeah, so. It's just another tool in your kit bag. And as Yoshi6400 said, the person you need to beat is not the people who won things, it's your past self. That is absolutely true. I've said that many, many times on Get Your Paint On. Um, you're, you're really fighting against yourself here. Like, I never look at what somebody else did in a painting competition i only look at what i did last year or you know last month whatever um that's why i tell people don't strip models right it's like where's how do you keep track of what you've become or what you've overcome if you strip a model right it's like if you strip that model you don't have that watermark of growth that you can just look back on and be like holy cow i painted this five years ago and then I painted this last night, and the difference is is, is always just astounding. So, would, would you say the difference is night and day? Night and day, night and day. So, I don't know. Don't be afraid to come up to talk to us. Don't be afraid of critique. Um, if you don't want hard critique, just tell me you don't want hard critique. If you want real hard critique, tell me you want real hard critique. You'll get it. Um, but it's about your your journey, not your journey against other people at Grandmaster, you know. I mean, of course, there comes a point when, you know, three golds are sitting there. Like, I got to choose one for a Grandmaster, right? But... Just keep asking questions. Never give up. Never surrender. All right, so now I got bow dress green, and I'm going in on some heavier shadows. I'm super excited for this uh, competition. I hope people are excited. Oh, dude, I'm so hype. Is people hype? I can't hear your hype. I want to hear your hype. Like, 
You know what? Let me know how hype you are on Facebook. I want to see. Twitch, people. Twitch, show it on Twitch. I'm saying on Facebook. I'm saying go on the Facebook groups and tag me and tell me how hype you are for this painting competition. A word? Oh, yeah. I'm saying it. Like, A word. do it. Get out there, and I want to see your hype. You, it's, this is a dope uh, competition contest. Um, I'm hyped for it. I'm super excited to be doing it, and I want to know how hype you are. Striker 911. This is a call to action. Five, it's five nights hype. Five nights? <laughs> hype night. Oh, my God, that'd be a great video game. Hype night? Mm -hmm. I'd totally play that video game. I don't even know what it is, but I man. don't either. But it sounds dope. Your lance of hypeness. Mm -hmm. You just poke people that are like, "Oh, I'm not very, very hype." And you're like, <coughs> "What? I'm so hype!" <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, Alex, yeah, there was Company of Iron Narrative events <coughs> at Lock and Load. Um, Oz put on some apparently super awesome narrative events that were uh, multiple tables affecting each other's outcomes uh, based on uh, what was happening on each table. Um, I really wish I would have got to play, but I was busy in the Hobby Lounge. Um, but if I wasn't, I would have totally brought in the Filthy Five and oh, just yeah. caused some trouble and mayhem across those tables if I was, if I was capable. And then it fed into Mr. Uh, Matt Getz's uh, Dead Reckoning stuff that he was doing in the uh, IKRPG. Oh, wait. I did not know that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They fed into each other. The Company yeah. Iron, the Dead Reckoning? Yeah. So Holy it, cow. So the people that played the narrative event for Company of Iron, like the outcome then fed into the RPG stuff that uh, Mr. Getz was doing. I did not know that. Yeah. That's amazing. It was pretty dope. Yeah, no, everyone I talked to at Lock and Load and after Lock and Load said that they had a great time, and I believe them because I also had a blasty blast. Uh, I had way, 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 way lots of fun. Sean Barnes says, will Mon Park be the theme of the beer from the Ram this year at Gen Con? Yes. Yes, he's right here. Brew Rock! Like, that's through grass sitting on top of the ram drinking its delicious contents with his mouth. Mouthwash, brew grass. Striker, we are adding some battle dress green. Yeah, this is just going to start deepening those shadows, keeping in that green tone. It's covering over some of that purple, but the purple, because I'm painting so thin, the purple is still showing. Um, it just gives him that fun, grotesque, fleshy look. Yeah, he's a fleshy boy. Flesh grosh. Greedy, gr gritty, grimy, grungy green. I swear, I want to make that color now. Just make it official. I mean, I could just make it official. The mix is just official. The mix is official, gang. Right here. I just did it. That's an official mix. Oh, when Matt Getz is in the Facebook chat updating people on what happened with the uh, Dead Reckoning event. So, get him, Matt. Get yeah. him, get him, get him, get him. For those watching this later, I'm going to read that off. Uh, Matt Getz says, yep, the opportunists won, which was one of the teams, uh, which meant that during Dead Reckoning, the Winter Guard's military supplies had been stripped almost dry. There were almost no caches of munitions for them or the players to make use of during the adventure, and the Kadorans uh, were forced to reserve their coal keeping their juggernauts offline. Uh, this sounds shady and very anti-Kador, which I'm anti. I'm anti-anti-Kador. I, see, now I'm torn. Like, I want to play in that event, but I would have brought my Filthy Five, but I would have sabotaged. I would have been, like, trying to help the Kadorans because out of my own bias for the motherland bias no i couldn't do that that's not narrative i can't do that <laughs> i'm i'm talking like like i would totally do this and i'm like wait i, I couldn't do that that is totally well, against me matt also admitted that the filthy five are wild cards they're loose cannons 
You're a loose cannon. He also says you can't be the good guys all the time, Dallas. Uh, I want to be the good guy all the time. I just fail at it. <laughs> like all the good guys. <laughs> In the Iron Kingdoms, anyway. <laughs> I want to be good. I'm just so bad at being good. <laughs> but, are you, but are you good at being bad? I'm good at being bad. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn this way. <laughs> I don't know why you got a funky baseline, but you did. I'll take a funky baseline any day. Man, if I could just walk into a room to a funky baseline every time I walk into a room. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We talked about this uh, a couple months ago, didn't we? I think it's come up a lot. Yeah. Uh, if yeah. you could have a theme song or what was the option? I don't remember. It's you can have a theme song or you can have sound effects. That's what it is. Mm. So you can either when wanna, you walk into a room, the you get theme, theme song, song I want... or you can have sound effects to anything you do. Right. No, I, like I I make plenty of my own sound effects. I want the theme song. I want to like bust in through the doors and be like, but I not something dope. Something dope. Something dope. Something dope. A little Seinfeld. No. <laughs> No, not Seinfeld. That's that's too. I don't want that. I want something rocking and heavy and people being like, "Oh snap!" You're like, I don't want. I want. Yeah, I want like some slap bass, heavy riff, double kick metal. Lay down some Victor Wooten for me. Some some C minor freaking pitch harmonics. I'm in. Some chunk, 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 chunk. I'm doing the um, <clears throat> seven days, seven album covers thing on Facebook. Okay. Um, that's been fun. Just kind of, it's like uh, you pick each day, you pick an album, you post a cover, and it's like an influential. Um, inspirational or defining album in your life and you don't have to give any reasons right it's not like it's not supposed to be like this well actually their sophomore hour was a far superior like it's not like that right it's like it's like this album for whatever reason it's not even the best album by the band but it's like defining or <clears throat> or whatever and uh, that's been a lot of fun to uh, think about like what those albums are for me Um, Anthony Martinez says, I'll take Stone, Stone Cold Steve Austin's theme. Uh, dude, last year, Lock and Load, I totally convinced Will Schick to play. I got a glass break as I entered the uh, Iron, Iron Painter. Painter. Yeah. It was the best thing ever. Now we just need to get you a Star Wipe. Star Wipes. So if I had to pick one, like just off the top of my head right now, uh, the Tool album, Lateralis. Mm hmm the transition from the song Parable to Parabola. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just enter into that? Yeah. Like, that's your injury? Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> like, that That riff is just tasty. Tasty riffs. Like, it's got that, that high feedback, like, lean into it, start, and then just... Dope. So there's this... Uh, so, okay, so... Sound effects are cool. I'd love to have sound effects. I'd love to be able to, like, just doing whatever. Like, every time you jump, it makes the Mario jump sound. Yeah, bling. Um, boom, boom, boom. I'd love a theme song, but at the same time, I now I'm thinking, like, if I could just have a star wipe whenever I want it, just in real life. Yeah, just just all of a sudden, like, enter into the room, but, like, just they don't. star wipe. They see the door open, <clears> and then <throat> star wipe, and you step through. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. That's not really. A, that's not effect. That's not a sound effect, and it's not a theme song. But I totally want a star wipe whenever I want. Just on demand star wipes in real life. All right, this is Battlefield Brown. <laughs> I love our segues on this show. <laughs> Battlefield Brown. I push buttons now. It's up on the screen. I'm just He's painting it in on his this gritty, grimy, kind of grungy green. Real loose blending here. Not doing anything fancy. 
Just getting it in there, creating contrast, transitions, volume. <coughs> Um, I don't know what style the beer is this year just yet. Like, what flavor it is. I should know soon. Um, I thought I heard somebody mention it, but that doesn't mean it was real. I'm trying to remember what they said. Yeah, until, until I can get the exact answer from J.R. Schick, I feel like a jerk if I say the wrong thing. No one takes what I say officially, so I can kind of just. Last year's make was it up. delicious, though the Voltaic Vixen. Uh, that was a damn fine beer. Yeah, like I know it had like a hint of banana, which I normally would not want in my beer at all. I'm usually kind of opposed to fruit flavors, but god damn, that was delicious. Damn, that's a good beer. And the Bloody Buccaneer Brew the year before, Fantastic. also really good. I did not buy enough cans to take home. Like, I, I came home with, like, a six-pack, and I should have gotten uh, I only got one can, and mm, it's not open. It's just sitting there. It's, like, looking cool on my... on one of my desk. I'm gonna steal it. And now I'm gonna drink it. I, I never delicious. buy mugs, either, and I really... I bought those two mugs, as well. Really regret never buying the mugs. I, I had to buy the Voltaic Vixen one, because I came up with the name. Sure. I was in the car with Shick. I was like, hey, what are we calling the beer this year? He was like, I don't know, but it's going to feature the, the, the Squire alternate sculpt. I was like, the Voltaic Vixen, you mean? And he was like, that's the name of the beer. I was like, crap, wait, no, that's kind of dope. Boop, 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 boop. Put a little brown on his belly. Got deep in the blues, recesses. Sean says, I mean, on. let's be real here. We're going to try it regardless. Truth. Yeah. Truth. I'm going to get to the Ram, and I'm going to put it in my face. That's that's what's going to happen. And I'm either going to be like, mmm, this is delicious. I shall have another barkeep. Or I'll be like, mmm, this is delicious. I shall have another barkeep because they haven't let me down yet. Is there anybody in the chat that doesn't know what the Ram is and what we're talking about? I'm just out of curiosity. I feel bad if they're like, what the crap are they talking about? In the meantime, Emily Burns says, hello from California, Dallas. Will I see you at PAX? Uh, PAX? I don't think so. I don't know my schedule. When's PAX? PAX is usually uh, uh, the weekend right before everyone goes back to school. Um, so it's September. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't out. think we're going officially this year. I haven't heard yet, and usually I would have heard by now, but that could change. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it's not on my schedule. J.R. Drawer. Drawer. Pax is a fun time. Lama Juice says, not a clue. I don't know if that's in regards to your question. Uh, oh, it might be. So we there's a there's a restaurant at uh, Indianapolis called The Ram. Mm -hmm. And we team up with them every year and we create a special beer and a special model. And that's what this is all about right now is Brew Grosh. Brew Grosh the special beer. The special model. Getting all exclusive. Well, and we take we, and while the so basically uh, the first night of Gen Con, all of Privateer Press goes down to the Ram after the uh, show hall closes, and we basically do a keg tapping yep. party. Yeah. Right. So we basically take over the Ram almost that whole weekend. There's a menu that's been completely tailored that has like all kinds of Iron Kingdoms and Monster Apocalypse items on it. There's the special beer, which in this case features Brew Grosh. Um, there's usually like some swag and other stuff going on. It's a chance to hang out with all of us and have some drinks and delicious food. So if you are going to Gen Con, first night of Gen Con, Thursday night? Uh, pretty yeah, sure. Night, yeah, yeah, pretty sure it's Thursday night. 
you go to the Ram, which is like two blocks away from the convention center, and you eat a bunch of tasty food and drink a bunch of tasty beer with us. Yeah. Come and hang out. The event doesn't cost anything. You just have to get there and get a seat. It is dope. Nothing but the price of Gen Con. Well, you don't have to have a Gen Con badge to go to the Ram. That's true. Actually, you can just come to Indy. Yep. So if you if you're if you're there, come hang out. We will hang out with you, and we and so like usually like we'll have like a a big reserve table for us so like we can like actually like get food because otherwise <laughs> it just wouldn't happen. But after we shove some stuff in our face, we usually mill about the whole restaurant, and just hang out with people and talk, and it, it's a really good time. It's a good time. Good time. Wait, this is... Oh, yeah, it's brown. And that beer is available the whole weekend of Gen Con. Unless they sell out, which I think has only happened once or twice. They're pretty good at making enough. They are a brewery. Them boys know what they're doing. Do-do-do. No painting questions today. Not, Not really. so far. It's crazy. Yes, yeah, sure. it. When they when they have them available, they will sometimes have the previous year's beers as well. They did not have uh, Bloody Buccaneer Brew last year, though. Unfortunately, oh, that sold out. Yeah. yeah, that one was one of the ones that was it was gone. I think the other one was the the Kill Lifter from two years before that. That one also disappeared rather quickly. Yeah, yeah. The Trollkin one, yeah. That was a really good one too. We, um, if there's no pain questions, like it's like I guess I've taught everybody everything. I can just quit. <laughs> nope, not allowed. I'm done. I've taught you all I can, Grasshopper. It's time for me to move on. Alex Dane says, "Sorry, dry brushing my shock troopers. Legit. That is that is a legit thing to be doing, as the show is called. Get your paint on. Yeah, get your paint on. Get not get my paint on." Get your paint on. See what we did there with the name? It's da, 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 your da, da, da. paint, not my paint. Oh, yeah, this belly's going to be... I'm going to put a lot of yellow into that belly. Make him nice and sickly. Make him a super gross monster. Just a gross boy. Just a gross boy. So, and in case people were not aware... If they're coming to Gen Con, that is also your first chance to buy the starters. They will be available for pre-release at Gen Con. Get your mind park on. A painting question. Alice Dane says, Dallas, what is the best way to convert a paint into a glaze? A lot of water. Boom. That's it. Nailed it. A lot of water. Yeah. That's so all I do. Formula P3 paints are very high in pigment, so you, high. Can, so you can adjust with almost as much water as you want to get the effect you're going for, for either a glaze or a wash. Yeah, a lot of water, that's all you're doing. For my edification, Dallas, what is the difference between a glaze and a wash? So a wash and a glaze are techniques, not things. Da -da 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 -da. First thing. Uh, a wash is a thin down paint that is designed to flow into the crevices and collect. A glaze is a thin down paint that is designed to go over an element or elements, uh, not pull up in the recesses, but just change the tint of the elements that you're going over top of. And a really good example of that for me, um, beyond like some of the glow videos we've done in the P3 Presents, is actually the one where Brendan did the uh, the leather. Yeah. Like, that yep. one is a really good example of how a wash and a glaze change things. Yep. Uh, the Kator Red. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like look at that Kator Red video. You don't have to do that just with red. Like, that's a that's a technique and an application. That is how I paint all my reds and whites. Yeah. But you don't have to do it just with red. You can pick Yellows, any color. You can do greens, it. Greens, blue. I'm going to put some... 
belly splotches on this guy. So, for example, like like when I'm painting a more traditional Signar blue, I always start with Exile blue, and then I literally do a glaze of Signar blue, so that some of that Exile blue still shows through. But I have changed the hue by applying the glaze. He's so gribbly. He's so gribbly. Megamole 99 just jumped on. What is this creature and how do I acquire it? This is Brugrosh, an alternate sculpt of Thugrosh from Monster Apocalypse that will be available at Gen Con, both at our booth and online. Mm -hmm. And he comes with stat cards, which I got confirmed the other day. So. Which is dope. I didn't even know that. Dallas knowing stuff I don't. Well, I work in I work next to design, so right. I get to see what they're working on. Uh, I'm gonna jump back and forth here. Uh, Emily Burns Dallas, can you give me some pointers on mixing medium and when and if you use it? Uh, I've been using it all day, actually. Yeah, uh, he's been using it for all of these uh, slight changes in his colors. Yeah, so mixing medium is kind of like a paint that, or it's like paint with no pigment. Um, is the best way to describe it. So what it does, um, you add it to your paint and it um, increases the translucency. The viscosity and translucency. Uh, so what it does is reduces like I don't know the I don't know if it's thousands or millions. Let's just say millions. So it reduces the pigment particles per million basically. So your paint becomes more translucent. Uh, that's what it's for. It's not a thinner per se. It's a desaturator. It's well, it doesn't desaturate. It can desaturate your color, but it's really just adding a bunch of body with no pigment, which means there's less pigment in mm -hmm. the paint, which just makes it more translucent. Yeah, it changes the coverage. Yeah, it's really great for skin techniques, and uh, I use it a lot. Like if you watch my videos, I mean, there's jokes about it. Mm -hmm. And then Alice Stain follows up with, and how does a stain? compared to a glaze or a wash because the terrain and basing section of War Machine Prime talks about making a stain by mixing umbral, umber, and brown ink. And I honestly believe that's just a color thing. Uh, I, I would have to this. see that article to see what they're talking about because that don't think... I, I, that might just be just a, just a misnomer. It's either a misnomer or if I'm thinking about it the right way, it's uh, using those colors on certain materials without a primer layer. Because if you don't have a primer layer, then you are, A, you're either direct painting or if it's on some kind of like cork board or wood, you're actually technically, I guess, staining it. Yeah, I don't, I'd have to, where is that at? Where do you say that was uh, It's in the basing section of War Machine Prime. Oh, okay. So it's over top of the, it's over top of the, um, it's over top of the grit and the gravel, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're, it's, it's a wash and you're just, and you're using it to stain it, that's just a misnomer. Yeah, just put a, stain in quotation yeah, you're just marks. Stain in quotation marks is a good way to say it. You're, you're staining the um, the grit, the gravel, the ballast. That's all you're doing. You're staining it. But you just do, it's it's an application as a wash. Yep. Uh, Sean Barnes, Dallas, have you ever used Windex to thin your paints? Uh, I, I I only do that in an airbrush, Sean. Um, I put paint in my mouth because I two brush blend. So I do not want anything in my mouth that will hurt me or even have a chance to hurt me. Um, so, but I do use um, window cleaner, non-ammonia, non-ammonia, non-ammonia. I'd say that three <laughs> times because it's very important. Um, non-ammonia window cleaner in my airbrush to cut my airbrush. Um, my paints for my airbrush, but not when I'm brush painting. I don't want that in my mouth. Um, oh yeah, Matt points out uh, No Quarter Prime Six. There's some interesting companies that are renowned for Crucible Guard. Comes yeah. at the end of this month. Yeah, Elstein. It, it's it's just another. They're, they're they're just basically using another name for a wash. Like it's I, my goal is to start. Um, 
codifying terms that getting, way we getting all... rid of the extraneous ones yeah it's 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 kind of like war machine right it's like why do you need two different abilities that did the same thing so we change that in you know mark three um I'm, do, I'm i'm trying to do the same thing with painting i want to have one um one uh lexicon for painting that way we're all having the same conversation um i mean i i'm using paints and glazes and washes right here on this guy and technically if i wanted to quote quote i'm staining him because i'm staining the primer but it's it's just it's just a it's just a superfluous word and then one last one before we gotta head out for the day raven says how did your iron painter model dry or is it still drying i actually haven't seen my iron painter <laughs> entry since that <laughs> night <laughs> Um, JR took that. I should probably go find it because I'm curious myself of what that is. Um, I believe – I'm going to give this away a little bit. Um, I believe we are going to give away that Iron Painter uh, Defender X somehow. I don't know exactly how. Okay, and then we're going to be uh, rejoining uh, Brew Garage next week, yeah? Yeah, we can. I, I mean, we can keep painting him. So if everybody wants, we can keep painting him on uh, get your paint on. I think I, that's what I want. That's what I want to do. Well, then that's what we're doing because we do what we want. I'm not very far along. I mean, get, I got some get your paint on is you and I's uh, like opportunity to like hang out and do what we want. We're just doing what we want, like Company of Iron. You just grab some yellow. Which yellow did you grab? Sulfuric yellow. I want to put a little bit. Up in the highlights here of his uh his uh, mouth sack. Mouth sack. Yeah. And his belly. So I'm just gonna tap in some of this yellow real quick to see to show people where I'm kinda heading here. Preview for next week. That's still really subtle. I really like that. Join us next week for a very as special. As we get, get all these different on. layers on, you can kind of see, like, hold them in profile again for just a second. The other way. Other way. Here we go. So kind of coming off of his eye and working down towards his shoulders where I can see the, the purples and stuff really well. And then kind of under his, his really gross armpit. Yeah. That's nasty. He's gross. Um, I should maybe put in some more. I'm, I think I'm going to add some more texture to his belly. and his. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to start building some more texture. Really. He needs more textures. I'm gonna put some yellow in these highlights. So, um, if you uh, if you ever catch me live and I do painting uh, hangouts, I talk about we got a little bit of time, right? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Okay, I'll, I won't be long. We talk about I talk about face zones and. Um, the two T's a lot, um, and so I'm actually using the face zone here. So if you look at a face uh, when you're painting it, the from the eyes up, so the forehead, is a lot of yellow. Across the eyes, in the middle of the face, is a lot of red. And you can Google this, you can look it up, face zones, face color zones or whatever. Um, and from the uh, J the jaw, the lips down is a lot of blues and greens. And that kind of, uh, it's a color theory thing, right? And it helps make more realistic models and uh, paintings. I'm using this for right now, right? Because, like, this guy doesn't have, I'm using this upper area to add some yellow. I'll put some more blues down in the bottom and I'll add some reds across the middle and kind of on the face, right, to kind of create blend that, but I'm also, that, blend that together. yeah, blend it together, but I'm also doing it a little bit kind of across the whole thing to mm -hmm. exaggerate uh, uh, color crossing. Yep. All righty. Any, any other closing thoughts before we head off for the day? Uh, patience, practice, perseverance, pancakes. Thanks for joining. And remember, keep painting, keep asking questions. Keep pushing yourself. Keep learning. Never give up. Never surrender. Bring your models to lock or to Gen Con so so that you can enter them in the P3 Grandmaster competition. P3 Grandmaster Do and it. pick up your brew brush and uh, get ready for Mompok.
And it's of coming. course, Mom Pot Color Scheme Contest. That will be up later today. PrivateJewPress.com. And please, like, let's see that stuff. Uh, let's see whips. Let's see everything. Yeah. Like, just, just let it out. Share, share, share. Share, share, share your colors and win, win, win. A uh, no matter what. A monster of your choice. Word. Alrighty, guys. That's we it. will see you next week. Tuesday, Monster Park Lips. Wednesday, Dev Hangout. Thursday, get your paint on some more with uh, Dallas and Brew Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Hype train. Go. Ba -da -da -dum, ba -da -da -dum.